To COVID-19 news now, there are growing concerns over a new variant of the virus as new COVID numbers are also out today. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins explains what we all need to know. There's much we still don't know about the newest COVID variant, XBB 1.5, except like its predecessors, it spreads fast, likely more contagious, and better able to evade immunity. If, even if you've had COVID in the past, and even if you've been vaccinated, there's a good chance that you could still catch this new variant. Hopefully, um, that underlying immunity that you do have will be will will help prevent any kind of severe disease. But you know, we have to. We, we don't have data on that yet because uh, it emerged so recently. According to the CDC, this variant jumped from 4 to 40 percent of new infections last month alone, now causing about 75 percent of new cases in the northeast part of the country. However, in our region, XBB 1.5 makes up about 6 percent of new cases. BQ1 and BQ1.1 are still the major variants we're dealing with. And while flu and RSV cases are going down, hospitals are still bracing for a potential surge if this COVID variant is worse. A lot of hospital systems are pretty exhausted. We just did two really bad peaks from two really bad infections. Um, and we'd really, really not like to do that again. And the Ohio Department of Health is reporting 13,895 new COVID cases this week, slightly above last week's reported total by about 850, but still below the three-week average of about 15,000. The hospitalizations did tick up slightly, with about 709 reported in the last week. Even though it's not perfect, though, doctors are still advising some protection is better than nothing and encourage people to get that updated booster shot. And, Laura, we thought we were going to see a huge bump in flu cases and more COVID cases, but that warmer weather we experienced may have helped sway that Ooh, to our good. benefit. But it's getting cold again, so everybody needs to be aware. Yeah, and it's what we're hearing again when we hear about new variants. It's like we need the data. We need the data. So now we wait for that data to see how it all pans out. Yep. All right, Monica, thank you. Sure.